wants me to be the president. He wants me to. Uh, he wants me to be the mayor. You know, we both started off in music, and and he's like, listen, man, you're gonna be the mayor. I'm like, I'm not gonna be the mayor. I'm having fun when I'm doing it. You know, and then all of a sudden we're in these meetings and. One thing's turning to the next, and the next thing's turning to the next, and I'm here now, right? Speech, I have a speech in my hand, right? So, I would like to thank my brother for 17 years, Grady Spivey, for encouraging me to do this thing. It's an honor to be here tonight. This means so much to me. Especially because we live in the greatest city in the world, New York City. Make some noise for New York City. <laughs> Yet even in this city of many opportunities, there are kids without basic service. Yes, sir. And that's crazy to me. But it's reality. And those kids will likely fall victim to crime. Elderly people who are ravaged with chronic disease, they can't afford medicine for them. HAC provides excellent care for 1.4 million New Yorkers. That's a lot of people. The need is so great, even bigger, the most powerful government in the world can't even meet the needs. As a New Yorker, I see the problems and I call to action. We need people to stand up and be the voice, be the power, be the solution. Advocate for those who can't speak for themselves. Human beings, we owe it to one another. To help each other, to make our city a safer, healthier place for all. And artists I see inherited power in relationships between the arts and the healing. I want to use that power to foster healing, promote health, encourage willingness for all New Yorkers. Please join me, start now, start tonight, support the fun. Everybody, make some noise for yourself and support the fun. to give a big, big shout out for my brother Joe for believing in me and helping me be a part of this entire HAC movement. Mr. Allen, the president, making the big moves, making the things happen in the world. And somebody said, why would they put a rapper in this position? He didn't go to school to be a doctor. He didn't go, you know, he, that, that's not his profession. And so they said, how are you going to help? And I said, every way I can. Every way possible. Every way possible. When I go home tonight, I'm going to write in my journal, because I keep a journal. And I'm going to write today's date, because it marks history. It marks the day that all of us came to room, came in this room together to make a new movement. This is the new movement right now. This is the next generation. This is the new Harlem HAC movement. And it was an honor meeting Dr. Cordy Cordyce tonight. Make some noise. You know, to be standing next to the honorable Dr. Cordyce tonight, who saved Dr. Martin Luther King's life when he had got stabbed in Harlem and he came in this building right here, or next door, which is still right here. And, right, and, and to be next to somebody so great, we wouldn't, we, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have had to I have a dream speech in our life. And, man. And, and, and to see him and his lovely wife going strong 60 some plus years, with not a care in the world, but the most care in the world, was it was a wake up call for me tonight to understand that love do exist, people that care do exist, and being a part of history is timeless. And that's why I came up with my phrase, sky is not the limits, it's just a view, because there's footprints on the moon. Why should we stop and sky be our limits when there's so much more to go? I encourage our youth to step outside of the box that some of us may have been put in. I encourage the youth to stand up and believe in what their dreams are no matter what. And I believe in taking things to the next level 
not letting nobody hold you back no matter the circumstances. See, a lot of people like to lean on excuses. A lot of people like to hate to cure the insecurities and ignorance. You understand? But I want to step forward for my generation. I want to be the Renaissance man for my generation to show them that there's so many more things that we can do out here to move this world in a, in, in a forward thinking place. Because with the media, with the, with the social networking, I don't see no educational components. You look in this room right here, if this was a rap concert or a singing concert, the audience would be different. But the thing, I feel that this should be those same people in this room as well. So that's why I feel my job is important to make the healthcare system a cool situation for the youth to understand so we can have some type of, so we can have the thread. So I say, what is the thread? It's art, it's fashion, it's music, and making people feel cool when they come into this pavilion and see all the wonderful artworks and give them uh, their own art shows in here or benefits, you know, for the youth and even find so much talent in Harlem. You know how much talent is in right here in Harlem, right on these streets right now? I can keep going on and on because I'm a passionate person, but you know, this this night is about this night is about everybody. And you know, I would like to give a shout out to Miss Sylvia L. White who has so much passion. And so loud, it's amazing. You know, I never, I never went to college, but I feel like I'm graduating in my life in the ways that is undescribable. And my parents, my grandmother, my father, my brother, my aunt, my uncles, my best friends are here to see me. Congratulations. Thank you, I thank you for being here. Thank you so much, it's an honor. I will do my job. It's an honor to be the global ambassador. I'm going to take this around the world, and we're going to make this a big deal with all of your support. And I want this room next year to be three times as bigger because that means we're making progress. And thank you, everybody, for your support. Showtime! Okay. <laughs>